Welcome to Memphis, Tennessee for the 1983 Liberty Bowl between the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame and the Boston College Eagles. It's early in the second quarter where after scoring a touchdown, Notre Dame has a 13-6 lead and is preparing to kick off here on ESPN Classic. Carney will boot it. Bell's on the near side, Taylor the far side now. Since BC's opening touchdown, they have not been able to move. They have been stopped completely. Here's the kick. Taking on a fumble around, and they go down, and they're in poor field position on their 14. Figure out how to unravel this Notre Dame defense that is stopping them. First down as Moody puts it in the I formation. He fakes the handoff. Now he's going to scramble. He gets it out of there. They're trying to contain him. They've got him contained. And that's what their job is. That's 58 for Janik. 11 minutes to play in the first half. BC goes to its setback loan. Flutie whips the short pass. It's incomplete. Right. Flutie now has had six straight incompletions after hitting three out of five on the opening drive. Notre Dame faked the rush. Four men coming. There's Flutie on the rollout. And his pass is in the bat of the way. A great save there. Blocked the last time. Gets the clean snap. Vic now, the kick is not too deep. Greg Bell fields it on his 43 to the 45. He's hit and brought down on his 47-yard line. 13 to 6. Notre Dame in the lead. Blair Keel, he's gone all the way. Makes the draw. since the opening five minutes. They're ahead, 13 to 6. Coming through, straight through the fullback, Chris Smith, number 32, playing with extreme confidence now, Notre Dame. They've got a wide split in their line, hand off and slamming over the 15. Smith again to the 14. I'm looking forward to next year. I still think we're going to have a great team. It'll be his fourth season. Pinkett on the toss. He's to the 10. Smith and Brooks, two fullbacks. Pinkett is the tailback. This is a second down, three to go for a score. Pinkett on the toss, and he's over again. Alan Pinkett has scored his second touchdown of the game. And Notre Dame moves out in front, 19 to 6. A very impressive drive by Johnston for the point. The kick is up. Gaffney was in there to deflect it. Just got it by the hand. But we'll be back here as Boston College will receive. And BC, in his last two or three possessions, has had field position inside of its 15. A kick by Carney. This is tumbling down. Taken by Bell on the 5. He's out to the 10, 15, to the 20. Finds a crack. He goes to the 30 and to the 31. Now they have a little operating room. If you're relying on a pass attack, uh, Obviously, you're not going to move it. That man nearly went offside. Flutie held up on the count. Great drop. Time. Now he'll start his scrambling. Out in the open. At the 40 to the 35. That's Beastick, the fullback, and he has a first down at the 27-yard line. 42 yards in that play. First down, Boston College on the Notre Dame 27. The rollout. Flutie says, get on down. Second down, 10, Boston College on the Notre Dame 27. Notre Dame ahead 19 to 6. 7.47 to go in the first half. Stratford slips and goes down. Maybe lost a yard. Not having a lot of confidence. All right, this is third down and 11. Boston College on the Notre Dame 28. His pass, the crossing pattern, and it is a touchdown. 
to Gerald Phelan. The junior, Gerard Phelan, scores from Rosemont, Pennsylvania. Great catch. He's averaged over 20 yards a catch, and they're going to go for two. They're trailing 19 to 12. They'll try the two-pointer with a lone setback. Woody will throw for it. He slips. He throws. Incomplete. So BC's failed to convert after each of their two touchdowns. It was intended for Brian Brennan. We're going to be back as the score now is 19 to 12, Notre Dame. Jefferson's in the middle. Alonzo Jefferson, Alvin Miller, Greg Bell with him. Kick is coming to the little freshman from West Palm Beach, Florida, to the 10. It's up to the 20, and he's filled and knocked down there. Chris Smith, the fullback, 32. Pink at the tailback, number 20. They've been dandies here in the first half for Notre Dame. He fakes to pink it. He throws it out short to the 25 and out to the 29-yard line. Is the tight end, Mark Bavaro. 6.48 to play in the first half. 19 to 12, Notre Dame. Pink at the tailback. He has the first down. Look at him. He broke two tackles, and he's down on the 33-yard line. along the line and that split backfield again they sit over that ball a long time there's a straight hand off and Pinkett is tumbled at the 35 right now five minutes to play in the half it's third and eight for Notre Dame on their 35 heel on a quickie right over the middle to the tight end again he breaks away for a first down Mark Favero first down Notre Dame on its 48 Smith Think of the split backfield, jamming over the 50 and plowing to the 45-yard line is Chris Smith. Four minutes to go in the half. They're back to the I formation. And they're back to Pinkett. Pinkett gets outside, but he slams short of the first down. The I formation. Heel fakes. He's being chased. He'll throw on the run. He gets it out there, and it's incomplete at the 27-yard line. Keel and pump formation. He's going to kick. He kicks the Brennan, watches it uh, hit, hop around, and the ball will be killed uh, along the 16, 17-yard line. Time is a factor here, but uh, with Flutie at the controls, he can make it happen quickly. Little Doug in the pocket. Gets out of the pocket, scrambles away, comes up to the 25, he's to the 30, he's to the 35, to the 40, 45, 50, and out he goes. Say that uh, Notre Dame ahead, 19-12. BC goes in their lone setback operation with a slot to the right. And the handoff to that setback comes over the 40, breaks away. Stratford, he's still going, and he's out of bounds on the 29 of Notre Dame. Taken out by Chris Brown. First down, Boston College. Stratford ran out of bounds. He stopped the clock with 311. And an incomplete pass. He's on hand to root for the Irish, second down, 10. Flutie, right back again. Gives it to Stratford at the 30. Stratford is hit at the 29, and we have a flag down. That's holding against Boston College. Second down, 20. College on the 39 of Notre Dame. Stratford in motion. Flutie whips it out. 46 seconds to go in the first half. It's on the Notre Dame 39 yard line. That's failing in motion. Now he's going deep, deep, deep. He's got him. And he just missed him in the end zone. Chris Trapuca. About three steps beyond his reach. Could have been open for a touchdown. The Haley can punt formation. Boots the ball the end zone it's a touchback and, and then another drive by Notre Dame and Pinkett scored his second touchdown and a pass that's uh, Pinkett again 19 to 12 Notre Dame and the left tackle move for Notre Dame right or left let's see. that's a legal procedure second and nine just under two minutes to play in the half the 
sideline. A high pass sails. 39 for the Fighting Irish from their 21. Heel to Pinkett. Pinkett is hit behind the line of scrimmage and dropped at the 17. There they go. He gets the kick away. He's knocked down. This is a costly penalty for BC. Down, it's roughing the kicker. But uh, if you don't get a piece of the ball and you're not blocked into him, as you can see, no one was there. Heel goes down. It is roughing the kicker. That's not an automatic first down. So they're still short yardage for the first down. Fullback blocking man. And this kicks away just barely. Brennan handles it on his 44 with a fair catch. And Boston College now trying to move in for a score. If they can. With a lone setback, they're in a spread formation. Doug Flutie's already throwing two touchdown passes. He's hit. He goes down to the 39. They get to him. Hit a couple of times before Autry got him down. On second down. That pass incomplete to Troy Stratford, the tailback. He never gets down. Highly confident. Always sure that he can move his team. On third down. Very difficult catch. And they're not going to kick the football. Well, maybe Flutie will run it around six seconds. Five, four, three, two. He's going to go deep. He throws the bomb. Look at that arm on that kid, though. He threw that ball nearly 60 yards, trying to go to Brennan. It was out of the end zone. He has a very strong arm. He has the arm strength that the Pro Scouts look for, even though he's short. Flutie was 21 attempts, six completions, and one interception. And the important statistic, of course, is what Notre Dame hoped to do. If you look at the time of possession, the last line, 19 minutes and 49 seconds for Notre Dame against 10. Waldron's kick. Greg Bell has it. He slips and falls on the Notre Dame 24-yard line. This 10-degree, 11-degree temperature, only one turnover against each team. Blair Keel. Still a quarterback for Notre Dame, and that's been by a pass interception. Neither team has fumbled the ball on a cold, cold night. Heel, Pinkett comes through. He's over the 30. To check that it's uh, Chris Smith. Second down and a yard to go. Heel on the long signal count. And he keeps the ball, uh, throws it deep, and it is going to be caught at the 25 of Boston College. The inside position that was a 43 yard pass play Notre Dame in the lead 19 to 12 has the ball now That's Chris Smith again he stopped on the 22 yard line they faked to Pinkett they've used the counter with him Smith carrying the ball very effectively second down eight there's the straight dive tackle play Chris Smith again third down four for the Irish First man, Smith stopped at the 16. They're going for it. They put two extra blockers in there. They have a fourth down one from the BC 16 yard line. Pinkett, and he may be stopped at the 15. He slipped as he started into the line. And he was sacked once. You've got to lay a little of that on the weather. Cold hands of the receivers. Troy Stratford to the 15, shakes away to the 20, to the 25. First down to the 31. That's the best run by Troy Stratford. And for those that have maybe just joined us, about 11 degrees above zero here in this game. Now they shift into the eye, a little something different on that shift. First down, BC. Stratford breaks it over the 35, comes out to the 40. Now he's starting to move. Second down and a yard to go. He's gained 25 yards in his last two carries. Flutie throws it deep, and Brennan has it. Brennan is out of bounds on the 20-yard line. Brennan turned and cleverly got position. Brennan's only 5'10". Flutie's 5'9", but probably the most famous battery in the history of Boston College. Here they go on first down. Flutie keeps it. Runs to the 20, to the 15. He's pushed out of bounds on the 14. A six-yard pickup. Flutie's the third-leading rusher this season for Boston College as a quarterback. It is second down four for the BC Eagles on the 14 in Notre Dame. Going to the 11-yard line. 
line is Troy Stratford with Bistrick the fullback as the up back. They need a foot. The hand makes it. He dives over the 10. They're not even going to measure. Fourth down and inches. Look at Notre Dame digging up front now. Strahan and Bistick. Flutie to Bistick. And he surges forward. And I think on that second or third effort, as he slid along the line, he may have made it. About nine minutes to go in the third quarter. And here is a first and goal to go for BC on the Notre Dame 10. As they mingle around trying to fool Notre Dame, Flutie is being chased. He's he throws on the run, and he has the pass completed at the five-yard line. A slot right with the I formation. Bradford, he's being hemmed in. He slams forward to the three. A Strahan stays in there. by Boston College with a swept field and they're lining up for the two points. They're trailing 19-18. They're going for the lead. Now he looks. He throws. He's got him and it's tipped away. They had him out in the open. It was a great save. It was intended for Gieselman and the score right here in the third quarter. Notre Dame 19, Boston College 18. You know, twice on those two pointers, he slipped coming away from the center. I don't know whether it bothered him or not. Jefferson, the freshman, has it on the kickoff return. Comes through, is up to the 30. He broke one for 91 yards this year and is finally down, first down, Notre Dame on their 30. Miller coming in motion. Pinkett takes the toss. This is what he likes. He's at the 35, he's at the 40. 45 and up to the 48. They're on the 50-yard line now with the first down. Pinkett has 77 yards rushing. He has it again. There they look at him. One, he broke away from two, but they finally got him at the 48. Six and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. 1918 Notre Dame. That's the fullback, Chris Smith again. Is Notre Dame better on the run and Boston College better on the pass. Third and two. Heel keeps the ball. Throws a short one out for the first down to Mark Bavaro, the tight end. 5.38 to go in the third period. In the eye. Smith, they stopped him cold that time. He may have had a half yard, and Roy Norton has replaced him as nose guard. He'll keep the ball after the fake, throws the pass out to Alvin Miller, the freshman. Third and six for Notre Dame in their single back setup. Neal throws a quick one, and it hits the back of the tight end of the barrel. That was just hanging up there, and he's hoping for the bounce. He's going to get a good bounce on this one. It's on the one-yard line, and Boston College will be oh, right on their goal line, one-yard line, when Flutie puts him in. Neither team fumble the ball away tonight, and that's a near safety. Second down, 10. BC on the line. And they're ganged up on again. Roy Stratford. Third down, nine and a half to go for BC on their yard and one yard line. Third and 10. Flutie will throw out of the end zone. He shoots it. It's complete and out of bounds on the uh, 17. He's throwing three touchdown passes in the game percentage record and first down Bradford they bulldog him out on the 18 yard line the college has scored a touchdown in this quarter failed to convert they failed to convert any extra points tonight second down nine from their 18 now Flutie throws the safety valve pass out to Stratford who gets it to the 26 this is third and a short yard Bradford trying to wriggle for it, and I don't know. He may have it. Booty brings him up in the eye. Wakes. Now starts to scramble it. He's got room to run. And he throws it instead, and they gang up at the 36-yard line, and Troy Stratford. 
<laughs> with his teammates. On the 36, the BC second and a short yard. There goes Stratford. Stratford has the first down. Lowers his head, goes to the 40. 19 to 18. Receiver, second down, 10, Boston College on its 40. This will be the last play of the third quarter. They're going to run it, and they go to the 44, carrying the ball to Ken Bell. I think they're going to call it down, but no, I guess not. Time has run out for the third period. Fourth quarter, Kurt Gowdy, Bud Wilkinson, and Dave Dial. It's third down and seven. Boston College on his 43. Notre Dame's ahead 19 to 18. Flutie, the short one, incomplete, way out of the reach. It's 34. John Halleck in punt formation. It's a low kick away, bounding around, and uh, it's going to be touched by a BC player on the 32 yard line. Mark Brooks and Pinkett are in the backfield. Pinkett has it. Pinkett breaks it, comes out to the 40, and they spill save a touchdown maybe he fumbled when he was already down to the Doug uh, you're gonna pull this one out oh yeah plenty of time plenty of time we're moving the ball all right the defense just has to hold him we're all set okay Thanks. that was Mark Brooks the fullback first down Notre Dame ahead 19 to 18 they were a three-point underdog again Mark Brooks Keel hand off Stop him at the 23 yard line that's Alan Pinkett it is third and three for the fighting Irish on the Boston College 23 1250 to play now in the game Jackson in motion fumble by Keel they're going for the ball Boston College has it at the 32 yard line of BC David Pierre the strong Notre Dame officials are behind him. They've already announced he has a five-year contract. He's been there three years, and he'll be back to complete his contract. The draw play. And they come over the 35 out to the 36-yard line. 12 minutes to play. Eastman goes tight in left. Stratford on the pitch. Not much room, but he makes it. He comes over the 40. Very close to the first down at the Boston College 41. I think Flutie's confident when Dave asked him, uh, you're going to pull a time. Yeah, oh, I love sure. it. I really sure. do. No question time. at all. Why'd you even ask? Why did he even <laughs> ask me? First down, Boston College. That's Brennan, quarterback, throws the ball, and it is incomplete. Brennan was a high school quarterback, maybe intercepted by Notre Dame. Stacy Turan. Down 25 yard line of Notre Dame. The Irish in possession, trying to protect the one point lead. The rollout by Keel, and in the seam is his receiver Jackson. He hits him, and he's got him at the 36 yard line. First down, Notre Dame on her 36. They have the lone setback. is going to end up with a couple of hundred yard rushes in this game. That's how effective their ground game has been. They're ahead 19-18, 10 25 to go. He will throw it on first down. Out it goes to Miller, the freshman. And Miller's pushed out of bounds on the 36. And now this pass good for 12 yards. Out of the eye formation. Miller in motion. Pinkett. 35. Squirms over the 30. To the 29, he's over 100 yards in the game. And Creighton Miller, you can't forget Creighton him. Creighton Miller, Gary Brennan. To the 26-yard line of Boston College. There are seven minutes and three seconds to play. Boston College is trailing 19 to 18. They have the ball on their 11-yard line, but they fail to convert. And those extra points right now, they have failed to convert at any one of their three touchdowns. The pass. Dropped at the 32 by Brian Brennan. Second down, 10 for Boston College. From their 11-yard line. 6.58 to go in the game. Brody moves into the scramble. Throws a jump pass. Short yardage to his 14-yard line. Get their hands up there, and it's tough. 
Big, big third down play. Third down, eight. Here's the scramble, the pass, no good. At the 28, Brennan there. To Thus far tonight. Neither one has in this cold. This was a low one, and he goes down, and Keel, the Pinkett, Pinkett sort of was sliding along, didn't have any acceleration. They got 100 yards or more out of Chris Smith. He's been a real factor. Here's Pinkett again. 40, dives forward to the 34. Third down play for possession for Notre Dame. Third and five. Pinkett, they've got him, and they stop him for a loss at the 36-yard line. 4-11 to go. And Keel runs it a short high one. Another fair catch call. And again, a play by Thurman. Tony Thurman. They have the ball. Boston College ball in their 12-yard line. Doug Flutie has hit 13 out of 32 tonight. Three touchdowns. We'll talk about the Notre Dame defense. There's Flutie slipping, leaving the center. The long pass. He's out there, and he's got him. It'll be a first down at the 48. That's Martin, uh, that was a 36-yard completion. First down. Time, 336. Remaining in the game. They run the draw. Stratford to the 48 of Notre Dame, and that's it. Second down, six. Boston College, Notre Dame's 48. Notre Dame ahead by a point. Flutie throws. Pass is complete. Great catch there by Gieselman. It took on a cold night. Flutie's rushed again just a little bit. He has the ball out there really wide. He got his hand up and under, and uh, the officials could have called it either way. Boston College, a first down on the Notre Dame, 41. 2.30 to go. 19 to 18, Notre Dame. This is He fakes the run. Now they're after him. They've got him, and they trap him. He's trapped from behind by Mike Griffin, number 94. at College, 45-yard line of Notre Dame. Checking signals by Flutie. The pass is out there, and the men rushing me. I can't throw over him. Nobody can. Third down. The pass is out, and it is off the arms of Brian Brennan. Now is a difference in this game. Third down, and 20. They give him protection. He comes out of the pocket. He throws on the run. He completes it. It goes to the 35-yard line to Gerard Phelan, the flanker. A minute and eight seconds to go. One point lead for Notre Dame. Here comes the blitz. He slips, he throws, and it's incomplete. Notre Dame stops him. I don't see any flags down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold right. on. They're arguing they were interfered with Joe Giaquino. But I haven't seen a flag drop. Joe Johnson was a safety man that went over there. And down goes Keel. He's gone all the way tonight. And all of them staying in their lanes. And then the wide men seeing that Flutie didn't get outside. And it's worked for him. Down goes the quarterback again, Blair Keel. Chris Smith has run for 104 yards. Pinkett for 106 yards. Smith made a big difference. They couldn't key on Pinkett all night. Stop Pinkett was the cry of BC, but... Chris Smith was running away. They're down to 10 seconds. And Notre Dame's going to win this game. A one-point victory for Notre Dame. An upset over Boston College. And there it is. And Jerry Faust is breathing a lot easier tonight. He's been under tremendous pressure here. Jack McNell just signed a new contract. He's done a fantastic job at Boston College of starting their program really rolling. Two fine teams, Kurt playing an excellent football game under very difficult weather conditions. We had only two turnovers on each team. The temperature was 11 degrees above zero. And they played hard. And uh, I'll salute the fans who came out. Look at Fowler.